Yes, I know. Here it is. He holds up a single gleaming coin. What is that? <laughs> the treasury in its entirety. There's nothing left, Your Majesty. You're broke. Oh, is that why all my servants are gone? Yes, but it's not the servants you should worry about. Outside the palace, something rumbles like thunder. Oh, now what? <laughs> the soldiers in your armies and even the city watch. None of them have been paid in months. Marching on the capital. You better grab your things, Majesty. <laughs> you ride atop a pure white stallion to face your rebellious soldiers. They're spilling through the streets like a tide, shouting for your head on a spike. <laughs> They don't resemble a trained army at all, more like a mob decked out in armour. <sighs> Deliver a grandiose speech. Don't they have any loyalty to their queen, to their kingdom? Yes, times are hard, but if they could see it in their hearts too. Oh no! <laughs> Your words are cut off by an arrow to the sternum. He topples slowly off the horse and are trampled by a thousand sturdy boots as the soldiers rush forth to loot the palace. <laughs> oh no! Having left no heir, it's up to the nobles to vote for your successor among the claimants. You only hope they will keep the kingdom more stable than you did. <laughs> <laughs> Who will be my successor? The barons or the grandees? <laughs> well, clearly only one person's voting. Okay. Rupert will be my successor. Oh. The barons are victorious. Out of money and facing an uprising, Queen Doom Cutie confronted her mutinous soldiers only to be shot with an arrow. The chiefs decided that the time must not have been ripe. Prophecy was quietly forgotten. By all except the god speakers who waited for the right omens to arise again. The grandees continued to throw accusations of witchcraft and hearsay, or heresy, uh, at their enemies. Everyone gradually learned to ignore them. The barons leapt into the power vacuum left by Queen Doomkitty's death, and Rupert took the crown with the council's blessing.